Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about different post options on bad angle shots. Uh, there's a couple different variations. They're all good. Uh, just some are better in different situations. The first one here, it's called the overlap. Guy comes down a bad angle, doesn't have a pass option, decides to funnel it on net. Mrazic just stays square. Oops. Follows him down, keeps his depth, and it's called the overlap because his skate is overlapped on the post. Why the overlap is useful is because by overlapping the skate, your hip is perfectly in line with that post, meaning the shooter has nothing to shoot at. You treat it like any other shot. Uh, super easy to learn and super useful. The next one's called the reverse VH. Um, you can see Montreal Canadian player comes down, just funnels it on net. Mirazic chooses a reverse VH. And why I think it's important to use it is in case there's a pass option. So you can see here, he not only has a shot option, but he could also pass it to this guy. And by going to a reverse VH, you're already down on the butterfly. You're square to the shooter. He's super tall here, uh, eliminating that top shelf play. And in case that pass does happen, he can just bump off that post and, and get there, which we'll see in the next clip here. Um, yeah, great save. Uh, here we go. As you can see, they bump it down low. Carry price, carry price automatically goes into the reverse VH. You can see here, his pad is completely loaded up. He's got so much power loaded into that leg, and he's staying perfectly tall in case this guy decides to wrap it around. Uh, but in this case, which we talked about last time, he passes out, which then carry price uses that post to leverage and push out. Pushes out, gets his depth back, and makes a very important save. Uh, yeah, he does that awesome. Third clip is a, a reverse VH into a pad tuck. So you can see Montreal Canadian player wheels it around and tries to wrap it. So he comes down. Mirazic recognizes that, again, there's a pass option here, or he could come in and try to score. So he goes into the reverse VH. Nothing happens, goes behind the net. He slides over, and it's called the pad tuck, because if we watch down here, his pad goes on the inside of the net. This is super useful because by having your pad on the inside of the net, you can bring your whole chest and hip in line with that post, completely sealing it. So it's really good for wraparounds or bad angle one-timers. In this case, he, he, he used it to bump off on the wrap. So he used it to use the leverage and push to the middle. Yeah, great play. Uh, another video of the pad tuck here. Carey Price uses it to seal that short side. He makes a save. Puck goes to the corner. Automatically recovers. So if we look at the bottom left. Automatically recovers to the post, brings that pad on the inside, which allows him to, again, bring his chest and hip in line with that post and completely sealing it. And he has his paddle down in case of a shot option, which in case in this case it does, he tips it, and no threat happens because of it. Third one is called the VH. This is another great tool. Uh, it's been around for quite a while. So you can see uh, Anderson makes a huge save here. Uh, so the puck goes down, he's he's threatening to shoot. So this guy, Anderson sees that this guy has a shot option, uh, so he's respecting it. He, he doesn't want to go in a reverse VH there because it's pretty high up, right? It's not too bad of an angle. Uh, so the guy ends up passing it down. Okay. Anderson is in the reverse VH, or not reverse, the, the normal VH, which allows him to have that edge still on the ground. Guy passes it out. And makes a huge save there. Uh, again, the VH is great for, for not that bad of angle shots. Uh, here's another view. Pass it down. And what I love about this clip is right here you can see Anderson's head snaps to the threat and his blocker snaps to the threat. Leads with it. He leads with both those, which allows him to make this awesome save. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If there's any other questions, uh, please just feel free to message me. I know it was super vague here, uh, but I just wanted to, to show you guys the different variations. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.